Today I'm going to give you three uh, steps to uh, changing how you handle emotion. Um, it was a while back that I noticed that when you're when an emotion would come over me that's not normal for me, right? So you have emotions. Everybody has them. You have emotions that you're used to having that you handle that you deal with properly, and those emotions aren't what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about is when you have an emotion that's overwhelming or an emotion that that has changed your mood or your attitude, that emotion ha is, is telling you something. It's an indicator. Emotions are always indicators. So one, for instance, I noticed with me that if I'm particularly grumpy or moody or short with a certain person, I'm having some feeling of inadequacy as to what I'm providing for them or I'm not meeting the needs that they have or, or expect me to need, meet for them. So that got me to thinking, if I, were, if I were to come up with a way uh, to use that, to, to use what I figured out about emotion, I would be able to better control emotion and be able to use emotion for its intended purpose the way that we were created designed to have indicators of something being wrong, something being right, something being good, something being dangerous, something being emotions are indicators. And so what I did was sit down and think about how, how you can do that. And this will change your life. These next three steps will change your life. Listen to me when I tell you it changed my life. It's going to change your life, and it's really pretty simple, okay? So emotions are indicators, so how can we use those indicators to change our life for the better by being able to know what they're indicating? Well, the first thing is there's three steps. Step number one is to make a habit of noticing your emotions, okay? Make a habit of noticing emotion that's out of, out of the normal realm. Are you angry? You see what I'm saying? Are you overly emotional as far as are you feeling like you've got to cry or something, right? Whatever's going on. Then step number two is to look around at your life and recognize what's different right now than when you're, that emotion isn't present, okay? Just look around. It's not hard. Just sit down. Take 10 minutes and go. You might, and, and eventually this won't even take 10 minutes. Go. What's going on? What changed in the last day that's got me angry with this person? I mean, and, and that's not, you know, somebody kicked me in the knee and that's why I'm angry with them. I'm talking about things that you're not seeing on the surface. Stop and find them, okay? Recognize what's different about your life right now than when your normal emotional uh, changes are taking place. And then the third step, and this is really easy, take action to address the issue. Okay, so step one is make a habit out of, this is the toughest one, make a habit out of stopping and noticing your emotion, right? Don't act on emotion until you've stopped and noticed what it is. That's, that's where the mistake is made, is people don't stop. I never stopped. People don't stop, they just react emotionally without figuring out why that emotion is there. So number number two is recognize what's going on in your life at that moment that's changed your emotional landscape, okay? And the third thing is to take action once you've thought it through, okay? So once you've thought it through, don't react right away, but to stop, think about what's going on in your life, handle it. If you can learn to do that, your life will be phenomenal. You'll be able to judge what's going on. You'll have a lot more self-awareness uh, in your life if you can do that. I hope that this has been helpful for you. I love talking with you. So if it is helpful, help me out. Share it, like it, retweet it, post it, whatever. 